But we had that discussion. And in agriculture, we need to continue having that discussion going forward. We're in a great place right now as an industry. We are in a tremendous place right now as an industry. And we're going to continue to be fundamentally in a great place as an industry until 2050. Who here has seen this chart or heard these numbers before? The world population is growing from 7 billion to 9 billion by 2050. It's a huge number. It's a huge increase. These are people that are going to be buying our food, buying the things that we produce to live. 2 billion is a big number. It's a number that's hard to comprehend. 2 billion people over that time span means that we're adding 212,000 mouths to feed every single day. When the world sits down for dinner tomorrow night, we've added another Sioux Falls metro area to the world population. When the world sits down for dinner Thursday night, another Sioux Falls metro area is at the table. That's what we're talking about. These are huge numbers. And these are projected numbers. But this is what's driving our industry. This is why there is so much hope for agriculture going forward. Not only is the world population growing, but the world population is growing in relative wealth. They're having more income to spend. They're no longer, by and large, substance, subsistence farming. They're working. In China, they're working for Apple. They're making a wage. They're going to the grocery store. They're doing what we did in the late 1800s. And look what's happened in America in that time frame. And that's where China's at today. Can we expect that kind of growth out of China? I don't think so. But can we expect some growth? I do think so. And when you've got some growth over a billion people, it's a lot of numbers for agriculture. So this is tremendous. But with every pro, there's a con. And the con in America, again, is political. It comes down to a problem we've had in agriculture since our founding, and it's a problem that's not really a problem. The problem we have is that we are incredibly efficient. And every year we get more and more efficient as an industry. Every year one farmer is doing more than his grandpa could have ever imagined doing with a whole team of people. And that's gonna to continue to happen. With costs and prices the way they are, efficiency, just like we're talking in the co-op, efficiencies are gonna be driving things in the field. That's excellent news for your bottom line. It's not excellent news in Washington, where we're a democracy and majority counts. We're in a situation where fewer and fewer Americans understand what's going on in our industry. They know when they look out there that it doesn't look like grandpa's farm. And if it doesn't look like grandpa's farm, something must not be right. You guys must be up to no good. And it's just from a lack of understanding. The average American is three generations removed from the farm. I know that statistic is true because I read it on a placemat at a cattleman's meeting. And you can't lie on placemats. It's like the internet. It's only truth. 